Last night, there was a political debate between Ron DeSantis and California Governor Gavin Newsom. Why, you ask? Well, because each one of these men believe that their respective party's frontrunners are both going to be forced out of the race. Donald Trump going to prison and old Joe going to a dementia care center. And so then they're hoping to step into the role and be the party's nominees. Overall, it was a bizarre and complete waste of time. And this clip encapsulates what you missed. Turn to the issue of Where's education. Decency and humanity. Let, and grace when it comes to of taking, things. ripping Attacking somebody away. Gentlemen, from gentlemen, from please. Their families no, nobody can, the nobody can hear you. That is wrong. That is wrong. I'll tell you, All America right. That should not stand violent. in this Ron, country. Let us turn. Let us turn the channel because this is completely ridiculous. There was no audience. It was just Sean Hannity moderating and those two cross-talking the entire time, which would be like watching a football game or a basketball game without the audience. It's just dumb. You need a live audience to get an instant reaction to make it exciting. Otherwise, it's just two guys up there standing at their podiums, just bickering for an hour. While Ron DeSantis' policies as governor of Florida have been fantastic, and he would make a good president in 2028, you all know how I feel about him stepping on Donald Trump's toes, getting into the race after the Republican establishment was whispering sweet nothings into his ear about how this is his time to get in because once the indictments start, Donald Trump's support's going to fall apart and he's going to have to drop out of the race and Ron DeSantis opened a gigantic can of worms by getting in this race to begin with. And debating and public speaking aren't exactly Ron DeSantis' strong points. In fact, they're probably his biggest weaknesses. It's a difficult skill for many people to develop, especially if you're more of an analytical type of person like him. And facing off against somebody who's a natural, charismatic, slick talker, as big of a scumbag as he is, Gavin Newsom is a very talented public speaker, and those two definitely have a major contrast. He puts up plans. Hold on, no, but Sean, is there, is there a risk? Me, I'm going to answer. People. I'm going to answer your question. I, I support border security. I think the asylum system is broken. I believe that we. Need, I understand that. I, I'm the one. That, I'm the only guy here. that's a border state governor. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games to try to get some news and attention so you can out Trump Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41 points in your own home state. That was pretty brutal, you got to admit. Ron DeSantis, however, was the winner of the greatest viral moment from the debate when he did this. This is a map of San Francisco. <laughs> There's a lot of plots on that. You may be asking, what is that plotting? Gavin Newsom knows exactly what's coming, and there's nothing that he could say to refute it. Well, this is an app where they plot the human feces that are found on the streets of San Francisco. And you see how almost the whole thing is covered, oh. because that is what has happened in one of the previous greatest cities this country's ever had. There's just no comeback from this. Gavin Newsom used to be the mayor of San Francisco, and now what was once a fantastic city is now covered in poop. But Governor Newsom did his best to gaslight the audience when faced with this obvious question. Joe Biden is experienced what I believe to be significant cognitive decline. And <coughs> in other words, it's the toughest job in the world. Is Joe Biden experiencing this uh, cognitive decline? Is it a danger to the country? Do you find when he speaks, what is your reaction to it? Yes, he's in decline. Yes, it's a danger to the country. He has no business running for president. And, you know, Gavin Newsom agrees with that. He won't say that. But that's why he's running his shadow campaign. Uh, he should not be running. Uh, he is not up to the job. Uh, and it is dangerous for this country. Well, I'll take, I'll, I will take Joe Biden at 100 versus Ron DeSantis any day of the week at any age. In fact, all so of the you folks think, you think on the campaign You think he's up to the job? Yeah. You think he's Absolute, 100%? I've been spending 100%? plenty of time with Joe 100%? Biden in okay. private and public. Answer. You don't know. And by the way, results matter. Inflation oh. now is down. Quick, change the subject, Gavin. This is going to be too difficult even for you to lie about. And because old Joe is aging like milk, he now thinks that he is running for president against Congressman Trump. Instead of cutting him, or it's like Congressman Trump and Bob were going to do. Yes, Gavin, he has 100% of his mental faculties. <laughs> Joe Biden has ruined America so bad, and his weakness has caused chaos to erupt around the world because... The United States is just a clown show at this point. So much so that even Fredo, Chris Cuomo, the former face of CNN's primetime lineup, says that he is now open to voting for Donald Trump. Joe was nice when my father died. He said nice things to us. That's nice. Do I think he's the best of us? No. 
Do I think he's the best we can do as president? Absolutely not. Do I think he's the best the Democrats can do? Hell no. If you get those two, though, you're going to sit it out? Or are you going to go? Oh, if it's, if it's Biden, Trump, look, for me, again, um, we survived a Trump administration. Uh, would we survive another one? Yes. Yes. I don't think there's any greater risk to America with him than with Biden. And for people who are now going to attack me and say, what are you talking about? Trump is like this crazy man. Well, look, you know. <laughs> well, look, you know, CNN was paying me six million dollars a year to read whatever they put into the teleprompter. And I have no soul. And so, you know, I took the money. Me, on the other hand, I'm just a guy in my kitchen on a laptop who writes books and sells T-shirts. And this weekend, by the way. Save 20% off of anything from MarkDice.com by using the promo code TRUMPCLAWS at the checkout. So get your Christmas shopping done early because it's going to be here before you know it by ordering your Wanted for President, Trump mugshot shirt, your Trump Claws sweatshirt, or t-shirt, or any of my awesome designs. All available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head out over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code TRUMPCLAWS at the checkout to save 20% off of anything this weekend, and check them out. 